Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a leaderboard system that keeps track of how long a player's been in the game, like you see right up here. So every one second, it's going to add a point for the time value so that you can keep track of time. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so we're going to start off with a script that'll set up our leader stats. And to do that, we're going to go over to the server script service and click on the plus sign. Inside the server script service, we're going to be adding a script. And before we get started, I'm going to rename this script to leader stats. This part's not necessary, but if you have a couple different scripts inside the server script service, we're giving it a different name just helps you to recognize it quicker. All right, so for the script, we're going to start off by saying local function. The name of our function can be on player join. Inside the parentheses, we're going to pass the parameter player. And this parameter is going to come from the player added event, which we'll get to in just a second. Inside this function, we're going to start by creating a new folder. So we're going to say local leader stats is going to be equal to instance dot new. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put folder. Then we're going to say leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats. Then we're going to say leader stats dot parent is equal to player. So this creates a new folder called leader stats and stores it with a player. Then we're going to define a value that we're going to put inside the folder. And the value we're going to call time. So we're going to say local time. And you'll notice that this word turns blue, which means that it's used for other things in the programming language. And we probably don't want to use that. So one way to get around this would be just to put an underscore afterwards. So we're going to say local time underscore is equal to instance dot new. And this time we're going to be creating an int value. We're going to say time underscore dot name is equal to time. time underscore dot value is equal to zero. So this is the starting value. And then finally, we're going to say time underscore dot parent is equal to leader stats. So up top here, we're creating a folder that we're going to store with the player. And then down here, we're creating an int value that we're going to store inside the folder that we can access later on. So finally, down here, we want to run this function whenever a new player joins the game. So we're going to say game dot players dot player added colon connect. And then we're going to connect this with the function, which is on player join. So let's go ahead and stop here real quick and test it out to make sure our leader stats are working. All right. And it looks like it's working. We have a leader stats with a time value. The next thing we're going to do is write a script that adds one to the time value after every second. I'm going to do this inside of a separate script, but if you want to do it inside the same script, that's fine too. So for this script, I'm going to rename it to timer. So for this script, we're going to say local function. And then for the name of the function, we can do add time. Inside the parentheses, we're going to pass player. Inside the function, we're going to make a while loop. So we're going to say while true do. And then what we want it to do is we want it to wait one second. And then after that one second, we want to increase the time value. So we're going to say player dot leader stats dot time dot value. So it's going to be equal to the original value plus one. Okay, down at the bottom, we want to run this function whenever a player joins the game, just like the leader stats. So we're going to say game dot players dot player added colon connect and this time the name of the function is add time okay so let's go and check it out and make sure it's working and you can see when the player joins the game they have a time value that increases every one second let's go and change things up a little bit and rather than just keeping track of the seconds let's keep track of minutes too First, we're going to go back to the leader stats script and make a seconds value and also a minutes value. So for this one, I'm going to change this one to seconds. Okay. 
here, I'm going to change the name of it to seconds. And then what I'm going to do is just copy this and paste it down below. And then we're going to update the variables to minutes. Next, let's go ahead and update the timer script. So here we need to change time to seconds. And we'll also change it right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the player has 60 seconds. And then we're going to convert that into one minute. So we're going to say if. And then this first part right here. If that is equal to 60. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the value of the seconds equal to zero. And then in addition to that, we're going to add one to the minutes value. So we'll go ahead and copy this part. We'll say equal to the original value plus one. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out and make sure it's working. And as we're getting closer to 60, we're going to check to make sure that it converts the seconds into minutes. And we can see as soon as it got to 60, then it reset the seconds back to zero and added one for the minutes. And finally, the last thing we're going to do is if you don't want the seconds to appear on the leader stats, but you just want the minutes, then what you can do for the leader stats script, and I just realized I misspelled leader stats, so let me fix that real quick. Not a big issue, but just want to fix it real quick. There we go. All right, so now back to the script. What we're going to change is for the seconds.parent, instead of putting this in the leader stats, we're going to assign this directly to the player. And then here for the timer script, it's going to be player.seconds, so it's no longer in the folder. And then we need to change that right here too. And the last one looks like right here. Okay, and that should do it. So what it's going to do, it's going to keep track of the seconds within the player, but it's only going to show the minutes on the leaderboards. So let's go ahead and run the script and check it out. Okay, and we can see when the player's in the game, under the player section, we have a seconds int value. And we can see for the value part of it, it's increasing just like before, but now we only have minutes in the leaderboards. Okay, and we're getting close to 60, so let's check to see when it gets to 60 that it adds one to the minutes for the leader stats. Okay, and it looks like that worked, so we have one for the minutes, and then it reset the value back to zero. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.